back, guys. Again, thank you to everybody who subscribed to my channel recently. What we're going to have a look at today in the X8 or the XFX2 is the SAG control in the AMP block. All right, so first things first, if you've got a preset set up and you've got your AMP block and you've got your cone dialed in, we want to go to the power supply uh, where this little control called supply SAG lives. What I'm going to do is I'm going to loop a riff really, really quickly and then we'll uh, tweak the supply sag and basically listen to how it sounds. Basically, it controls the interaction of the power supply and the virtual power amp uh, on the amplifier. And essentially, low values of this will give you a tighter, less compressed sound, and high values will give you more of a, I guess it's more associated with vintage non-master volume amps, where as you turn them up, you know, the transient response changes quite a bit or it gets saggy. So let's loop that riff and then play around with the sag control. <laughs> And I do really apologize for being out of tune, but you can hear there uh, the sag control is pretty powerful, uh, and it actually changes. You know, it's a very nebulous term, but the way the amp feels, I guess, the way the tone responds to your pick attack, how much, you know, bloom you get out of the notes, or all these other, you know, uh, very guitar-specific words we like to use. I guess what it does is it changes how quickly uh, the transient sort of erupts from the speakers when you pick hard or you pick softly. So yeah, that's what the SAG control does in the uh, power supply bit of the Fractal Axe 8 or Axe FX. I normally like it, you know, for most things at least around three. We'll try it with another amp model really quickly uh, so we can have a listen uh, with the Repto model because this makes a huge difference. Uh, much like on the real, you know, dual and triple rectifiers, they've got a switch at the back which lets you swap between tube and solid state rectification. Uh, you can use the uh, supply sag to kind of emulate that. I'm just going to turn this down a little bit so we can uh, click the interface. But let's have a listen. I'll just drift my looper over here. Let's. <coughs> see that having the supply sag up around five gets it way closer to uh, for anyone who's played a real rectifier or ever recorded with one that's you know that's the classic recto thing where the low end is very flubby and very saggy um, or the advantage is with this model if you don't like that but you otherwise like the tone of a dual rectifier you can just bring the supply sag down to you know one or a value like that and uh, you know you've got a tighter sounding version of uh, everyone's favorite heavy heavy amp uh, of course, I should mention, if you turn the supply sag off to zero, that actually disables power amp modeling. And 
if you're running direct, uh, you know, you're not running into a power amp and cab. Don't do that because it sounds like this sounds shy. <laughs> much nicer with it on there. Uh, essentially, like I said, you defeat the power amp, but if you are running into a tube power amp and a guitar cabinet, uh, you can use that control, turn it to zero in individual presets to disable power amp modeling in that preset. Otherwise, go to the global menu and disable it there. Otherwise, I like to keep it on. It sounds, you know, sounds pretty good to me. So yeah, that's what the SAG feature does, or I should say the supply SAG feature does in the Axe 2 and the X8. If you guys are digging this, please subscribe, tell your mates, and uh, I'll upload some more videos very, very soon. Cheers.